This is Fox 6 News. Good evening. Our big story here at 6 o'clock. A man who kept Waukesha police at bay for four hours was a no-show in court today. But he may have had a good reason. Beverly Taylor with that and also another twist that happened in court. The courtroom was filled with attorneys and the court commissioner. But when the case of Kelly Shaw came up, there was no Kelly Shaw. It's our understanding he's been, uh, from the clerk, that he's been placed at a, uh, uh, a hospital. Shaw is out on bail, or I should say was. The person who posted the bail through his attorney asked the court to refund the $2,000 because he no longer supports Shaw. He wasn't aware of the details uh, at all at the time that he posted that bail. We're asking that that be uh, refunded to the poster. In fact, 58-year-old Shaw faces two domestic abuse misdemeanor charges of pointing a firearm at another and disorderly conduct using a dangerous weapon. According to the criminal complaint, it all came to a head December 5th in Waukesha. Police were sent to a well-being check call, advised that Shaw had put a gun to his wife's head and stated that if police were called, he would kill his wife and shoot the police. Police negotiated with Shaw for four hours before he came out of his Eastview Court home. The complaint says he told officers, I wish I knew you were outside. I would be dead and hopefully two or three cops would be dead. Police found several guns in his home. His wife, who was in the safety of a relative's home, stated that once he threatened her with a gun after an argument over a pillow cover he demanded she make. She also stated Shaw's anger issues had escalated and she was afraid he would harm himself and make good on threats to others. My client believes that Shaw poses a serious risk to the community and he's not prepared to support him financially. The court commissioner allowed the person who posted the bail to get that money back. She issued a warrant for Shaw for failure, for failure to uh, not, not appearing in court. And it was not revealed which hospital he was in, but when officers detained him at his home, according to the criminal complaint, he had said he was trying to call mental health. Brad? Bev, thank you. The firing of Milwaukee police officer Richard Shane is official today. The commission